What's going on everybody? Uh, another late night shoot, so forgive me for kind of talking a little bit quietly. Uh, so today we're going to be tinting the taillights on this 2016 Toyota Corolla. Um, something that I'll bring you in for here in a second is uh, to show you just, this is kind of a difficult taillight to do, but it is doable with, uh, with the material from Lux. Uh, so this section, the trunk, uh, deck lid, whatever you want to call it, this section of the taillight is pretty easy, straightforward. It does have a little bit of a, um, uh, recession right here to where, it, or an angle that you'll have to accommodate for, put a little bit of horizontal stretch and it'll pull all this nice and tight and look awesome. Um, so this, the bulk of the taillight is where it gets difficult and you'll see right here. Uh, there's a pretty steep angle and then it goes into both of these little raised sections and that's where it gets pretty tricky. Um, so in here, I'm going to tack it down on this vertical portion, not where it angles up to a more horizontal, but I'm going to tack it right here, put a little bit of horizontal stretch this way. So it'll pull into this recess nicely, and then I can use that tension to uh, heat up the material work around here, and we'll be good. Okay, so we now have our piece of material sitting uh, just long enough, which the 20 inch, uh, if you get a universal install kit from Lux, this will work perfectly. I suggest getting a couple yards, uh, probably three yards at least, just so you have a little wiggle room for these tail lights. Um, and then I just cut a little bit long or wider, if you will, than what we're actually gonna need. But as you can see up here, we're good. And then it's gonna come all the way back around. No problem with a little bit of overhang and then especially once we put a little bit of horizontal stretch in there. horizontal pull and that's going to help us up on this top section as well as in this recess and around those two little fins right here. See there's one. The other one should be right there. Okay so again we're we're going to work down this middle section between these two fins and then we'll work down and up and then worry about this up here. And the next of the material we can just let relax. No problem. Now, uh, as always, we want to make sure we keep our area clean. And right in here is where I was talking about. Now, I'm going to lift this up to relax the material and let it, when we heat it, it should fall right in here. Now, I don't always tape my bumpers. You can, but it's not 100% necessary. Little bit of tension, no worries. All right, now that first recess is done. Here, we got a little small wrinkle right there that I don't care for. Make sure that edge is good. There we are. Nice. I'll worry about that later. That's easy. Okay, so now I'm going to get out my wrap glove because I want to be able to work quickly and efficiently in this area. Kind of lightly, lightly tack down that center portion between the two fans. So 
you can do this strictly with your wrap glove or you can get a squeegee. This is uh, one of the uh, regular normal size four inch, I think, squeegees that you get from uh, from Lux. I like it because it's, it's got a really nice stiffness to it, which really helps. Work that down. Again, the combination of a wrap glove and a squeegee makes this a really nice install for me personally. Other